Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin and the US dollar currency index. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump in. So, we've spoken a lot about Bitcoin. I also like to bring in the US dollar currency index from time to time. Why? Because generally speaking, when the US dollar currency index, DXY, is moving up, it's not good for Bitcoin. And when it's moving down, it tends to be good for Bitcoin. And this is something we've been following quite closely over the last year, okay? And back in 2020, you can see the dollar was going down. We know that Bitcoin was going up for most of 2020. You can see the dollar topped out here in March and Bitcoin was just on a rampage throughout all of 2020 and then even going into early 2021. And we sort of have, in the short term anyways, we saw the dollar have a double bottom at the same range that it had a, a bottom over here in 2018. But what we said was that there is a decent chance that we could get rejected off the 100 week SMA. We've seen the 100 week SMA hold support in the past, okay? So there's at least a non negligible chance that it gets rejected off of it. And look, the dollar getting rejected is probably the, you know, one of the good things it could, it could do for Bitcoin and the stock market too. So ideally speaking, ideally speaking, in order to, to really be the best conditions for Bitcoin, we'd like to see this keep coming on down, right? This would be the, the best conditions for Bitcoin. And here's the crazy thing when you talk about the US dollar currency index, right? We're looking at this little range right here but look at the actual macro range. Okay, look at this. This <laughs> Bitcoin has been around only since um, January of 2009. Okay, January 2009. So Bitcoin launched somewhere in this region and the dollar has more or less moved up during that time, right? It's moved up, but there were a couple key times when the dollar was moving down and that corresponded to Bitcoin bull markets. Now imagine what Bitcoin could do if the dollar ended up coming back down like this and sort of completing maybe a third concave up pattern here, right? I mean, I, I think that would be incredibly bullish for Bitcoin. I do wanna talk about the US dollar currency index from time to time because I do think it is important. And, and you can see that in the short term, fortunately for Bitcoin over the last few weeks here, We've seen some resistance here at the 100 week SMA. The, the, the rally has sort of stopped, at least temporarily. And so far we're coming back down. I would personally like to see this keep coming back down, okay? I mean, I, I don't often say like what I would personally wanna happen because honestly, I doesn't really care what I, I wanna happen. Um, but I would like to see it come down. Look, another thing I wanted to mention is that we, we talk about what we think will happen in the market and, and we just dubiously speculate on, on this stuff. But look, at the end of the day, I don't know exactly what will happen in the market, okay? I, I don't. I, I put out my, my best guesses and sometimes I can be wrong, okay? And you know, if it, if it turns out I get things wrong, then so be it, right? I mean, that this, this is going to happen from time to time. And I, I don't want people to think that everything, you know, that everything I say has to come true. Again, I, I'm just basing things on historical patterns, historical moves in the market, we're looking at, at long-term shifts, momentum shifts in the market. It's sort of like when we talk about the Ethereum Bitcoin valuation bleeding in Q4. We don't really expect altcoins to make major moves while Bitcoin's moving. Um, you know, we expecting a summer lull by Ethereum. But look, there's some time, there's some things that just don't pan out exactly how I might think. Like so, so just keep that in mind. Uh, I just want to remind people that that it's not like every pattern is always going to play out um, over and over and over again. So keep that in mind. Okay, um, and, and let's just continue along, okay? So one of the things I also wanted to point out is the money supply. And this is something we've spoken about before. And the reason I wanna talk about the money supply is because of how much it increased, right? It, it increased a lot. And again, I know they discontinued it, uh, but just to give you an idea, or just to give you an idea, you can see how much it actually increased going into the pandemic. Now, one of the things I wanted to mention again was the fact that when accounting for the money supply, I've seen a look, I've seen a lot of people say that we have to go back down to the prior all time high. But when you account for the money supply, we already tested the prior all time high. And this is something we pointed out back in the summer is that look, we already tested the prior all time high. If you account for M2 
the money supply. Okay, so I just wanted to, to reiterate that again. And if you look at it here today, we are still, we're still a little bit of ways from, from putting in a new all-time high. And look, Bitcoin right now is trading just shy of $64,000. Uh, I do think that with enough time, we will ultimately prevail and it probably won't take that much longer. Best case scenario, we break it tomorrow or today, I should say, but best case scenario, we just, I'm saying tomorrow because I'm about to go to bed. Um, best case scenario, we, we break it in the next 24 hours. And, and for me, the worst case scenario that I, I feel like is somewhat realistic is, is to, to come back down and then just break it later on. That would be worst case scenario. And you might say, well, worst case scenario is, well, this is, the, this is like a double top, but I don't really think that's a realistic scenario. So there's a difference between, you know, what is theoretically possible and then what is actually realistic. It's sort of like back over here in July when I said, I, I think we, you know, we could get a, we could get a, a bounce off the 50 week SMA but the most realistic scenario is going up in August and then coming back down to hold it as support in September. That's the most realistic scenario. Again, there was a theoretical scenario where we just keep going straight up, but there's a, there's a big difference between what's theoretically possible and then what's actually realistic, okay? So realistically speaking, I think the the most, you know, we, we could have downside in the event of, you know, of a, of a final shakeout maybe to, 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 to wipe out some leverage traders. But even then, I, I still think we'll, we'll come back up and, and break the prior all-time high and prove once and for all that 64.8K is, is not the market cycle peak, right? This is what I speculate. It's nothing more than dubious speculation. I've laid out the evidence for why I think that's the case. We'll see if it ultimately comes to pass. Until then, there are no guarantees, right? There simply are no guarantees. Right now, things still look incredibly bullish. Um, you know, if we go to the daily time frame and take a look at, at some of the shorter term moving averages, maybe in the event of a correction, what, where would you might maybe want to keep an eye on? The 20 day is at 56 K, but again, it's moving up relatively quickly. Um, you know, just a couple of days ago, it was at like 53 K. So the 20 days moving up relatively quickly. Note that in these bullish phases, we can come back down to the 20 day and hold it as support and move higher. And it's only going to continue moving up. Okay. It's only going to continue moving up. So that could be, I, I would imagine that the 20 day could be an area of support whenever we do get uh, some type of, of, of pullback. But so far, I mean, Bitcoin continues to look relatively bullish. The dollar, as we mentioned, is, is in, at least in the short term, it's getting rejected off the 100 week SMA, which I think is incredibly bullish for Bitcoin. And as I said before, when you, when you account for the money supply, which again, I know is discontinued now, this, this metric, but when you account for M2, we held, we held the prior all-time high as support. Of course, if you don't account for M2, we did not go back to the prior all-time high, but maybe it is worth considering that the money supply does have an impact on the market and that when you print, when you print, you know, trillions of dollars, right? What's a few trillion dollars among friends, right? When you print trillions of dollars, it is going to impact the market, okay? I mean, if you think about it, they, 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 they performed an airdrop, you know, uh, of, of, U I mean, of, of the U.S. dollar, right? And they gave it to 300 million people, basically. Um, so just, just consider that, that if everyone gets that, it, it can affect the markets. And, and you could argue that, again, when accounting for the money supply, we did test the prior all-time high and it held as support. Now we've held the line at the 20-week SMA and we're continuing to move up. And... What I think, again, what I, what I think when I look at this chart in a very unbiased way, if, if you just gave me this chart and said, all right, Ben, you, let's say you don't have a position in Bitcoin, where do you think this chart is gonna go? I would say more likely up and down. I don't know what's gonna happen in the next couple of weeks. I mean, we could easily break it or we could easily not and come back down, but I would still argue that the general direction is up. I don't believe in most traditional TA. Of course, there's house TA, which is the best there is. But momentum, I think, is powerful. And, and riding momentum is, is something that you gen generally can take to the bank, okay? In, in the sense that an, an asset that's moving up is, going to con is likely to continue moving up more than an asset that's not already moving up. And so I would say that, you know, Bitcoin so far, what it has proven to do, it has proven to put in a, a higher low, and at the very least, it's proven to put in a, a higher high. We just don't know exactly where that high is going to, to end up. We don't know if it's going to be here in the short term, if it's going to go to 70K before it gets a pullback, or if it's going to go to 75K before it gets a pullback. We don't know that. But what we do know, and that can't be taken away, 
is that this is a low and this is a higher low. This is a high, this is a higher high. So technically, Bitcoin is in an uptrend, okay? I wouldn't even call this parabolic at this point. I mean, I know a lot of people are saying this looks parabolic. To me, this is not parabolic. Right? This is just an uptrend, okay? And it's very similar to what we saw uh, back in August. It's just simply an uptrend. Could we go parabolic? Yeah, I mean, we could go parabolic, right? I mean, but I, I think that would have to look something like this, where maybe we go above it, come back down, maybe hold it as support. And then we, if we do something like that, then sure, right? I mean, things are, things are going parabolic. Right now, I would say we are still technically just in a in a simple uptrend until until proven otherwise. Okay, so let's keep this in mind. Bitcoin's trading just below sixty four thousand uh, dollars as measured from the having. If we put in a new all time high now, the cycle will be technically lengthened. Still, a ways to go in order to be lengthened from the market cycle bottom. But I do, as I said before, I do think the cycle has a ways to go. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. We also have the premium list at intothecryptoverse.com if you wanna know how I'm navigating these markets. I appreciate you guys tuning in each and every day uh, and I'll see you next time, bye.